Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And do we have confirmation, guys, that these are going to be the clean guns set to be involved in the Star Trek Discovery uh, production scheduled to air later this year? And let's talk about what we got here. Where did this image come from? And are they, in fact, Klingons? Well, the story goes, and um, what I've been able to discover online is that an extra working on the set of filming doing Star Trek Discovery uh, posted this image to his Facebook account. Uh, uh, he noted that... Uh, he was spending the day with the Klingon crew here, or hanging out with the Klingon crew, and so, uh, you know, it's pretty cut and dry that he was addressing these people as Klingons. Now, um, was he supposed to do that? Is this a leaked photo? Uh, are they trying to throw us off, or are these, in fact, Klingons? So, my opinion is, looking at the armor, the body armor that they're wearing here, it does, in fact, look Klingon-ish. It looks like something uh, Klingons probably would wear. And the, um, you know, the issue is, uh, if they aren't Klingons, why would the, you know, uh, the costume designers want to create something so familiar to what we know as Klingons? Um, you know, even their heads look, Klingon-ish, we can see those crests in the front of their heads. We can see the um, the vertebrae that goes from the back of the head down the spine that uh, uh, feature that's prominent amongst Klingons. And so, you know, with everything we can gather, uh, they do appear to be Klingon-ish. Now, some people are uh, kind of upset. They don't like where this is going. Why did you, why the, uh, this, uh, a drastic change from the uh, Klingons we've we've seen. Some people have this um, compared it to Lord of the Rings uh, characters, and you know they do look like some of the um, Lord of the Rings characters. Um, uh, so um, let, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Klingons, why they might be Klingons, and why some people are upset. And then I'll give my opinion about what I feel about the entire thing. Well. We, as we remember our first time ever seeing uh, Klingons on on film or on TV, they appear to look more human than anything. They had the thick eyebrows and they all had these beards and they 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 appear very dark skinned, but uh, they they look nothing like this. The only thing that seemed to be similar was their personalities and their goals of conquest. But uh, nothing like this. So uh, we get to uh, Star Trek, the motion picture, and we, st we first start to see this evolution of um, Klingon starting to look more like the Klingon representations we've seen to date. They start to take, you know, go through that evolution, the various crests in their heads. Um... And so it created quite a bit of confusion. Then we get to the next generation. And in, the, in Star Trek, the next generation, there is a scene where Worf's talking about uh, when they're asking about, <laughs> they're asking about, you know, the crest in, in Worf's head and, you know, why the Klingons look this way. And it was kind of funny. But uh, Worf, you know, uh, basically explains that this is something that they this isn't something that they discuss amongst outsiders. <laughs> so I thought that was very, uh, quite, you know, quite hilarious. Uh, so, but uh, to add even more confusion to the situation, if we go back to Star Trek Enterprise, we remember that um, there, you know, there were Klingons uh, that they were, um, they had contact with, you know, Archer, Captain Archer, um, and uh, these Klingons, uh, they look more like the later representations of Klingons with the crests in their head and things like that. So what happened? Uh, and, uh, you know, what's some explanations to this and some theories? Well, there are quite a few explanations and theories, and I'm not, I'm not that um, 
I, I don't know all of them. Uh, I hope guys that you leave in the comment section some of the various theories and you know things that uh, happen. And please, uh, you know, post your favorite theory about you know what you think happened. But the the two theories uh, that come to my mind um, is one: the crest is basically a degenerative disease, and the second is. It's a genetic experiment to create, I guess, like you, uh, like a type of super soldier or a stronger, better species of Klingon. Uh, so you can kind of choose between the two or maybe you can choose somewhere in the in the middle. But now concerning the continuity of the Star Trek story uh, where you're getting like Klingons. Uh, before in, in timeline, you're getting Klingons uh, before that look uh, uh, with the crest in their head. And then as you move on, like if you move on to Enterprise, you got the Klingons with the crest in their head. And then you move on to the original series, you got Klingons who don't have crest in their heads. And then you get on to the next generation, they got the crest back again. Okay. Could we say something like or, or could one theorize that maybe if it's a degenerative disease could we say that um the disease comes back in certain generations or they treat the disease uh <laughs> you know um and uh at some points they got rid of it at some points it came back something along those lines i don't think that you know that theory really it works a lot in the continuity, but we'll just move on to the next one. Or let's go back with they were creating super soldiers. Maybe they created something, something went wrong. They tried to do something else, another bad genetic experiment gone wrong. Uh, you know, uh, it's kind of funny, but um, I, I remember uh, hearing these strange stories uh, about some of the experiments conducted by Nazis and uh, the Soviet Union back in the between the um, years of the 1940s to the 1960s. And some involved um, using, um, specifically with the Soviet Union, some involved using uh, uh, animal DNA, gorilla DNA, to create these type of super soldiers or cross between like a gorilla or an ape and a man and uh they kind of like would show this imagery of the soviet union these gorilla like creatures in soviet union uniforms down the streets getting ready to go to war <laughs> you know so could it be that possibly uh this is some type of genetic manipulation or mix between species to create a certain type of soldier could this be a specific type of klingon um uh could this be a relative of the klingons uh you know similar to what we got with vulcans and romulans i have no idea guys but i, I can only say that these creatures whatever they are this species they look very much like Klingons, <laughs> you know, uh, but they don't look like the Klingons we're accustomed to seeing. So I, my opinion is that they are Klingons. And uh, I would also say um, about as far as how I feel about how they look, although I know a lot of Trekkies and people online do not like this. They are very upset with this. But I think that Due to how the story has progressed with Klingons, you know, from the original series to, uh, I guess with me, I'm kind of used to seeing these Klingons have these changes. Now, even if we look at the uh, the first uh, look of Klingons we got in the Star Trek, these are quite different looking Klingons than what we've gotten. They're a lot less humanoid looking and more alien looking. Um you know, then the Klingons we had been seeing from the Star Trek um, Next Generation, DS9, um, Voyager, and Enterprise. These Klingons look totally different. They have some similarities, but, you know, for the most part, they are, uh, you know, totally, you know, a lot, a lot 
lot different. We can identify from certain uh, features that they are Klingons, but they don't look like, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, a spirit image of the Klingons. We've been identifying as Klingons, you know, from all the, um, the, the Star Trek uh, movies we've seen. And so I guess what I'm saying is I'm kind of used to these various changes in Klingons. I, I, I think as long as I'm able to identify that they are representing the Klingons and they keep that same uh, continuation of their goals and their, their personalities and what their culture is based on. Uh, for me, I think I've been able to kind of deal with it. And uh, I've, I've found each uh, version and depiction of them quite interesting. So uh, it doesn't bother me that much if the, if these are going to be the actual Klingons. Uh, some of them do look odd. Their their heads look elongated. Um, you know, is it is it, are they a specific tribe? Uh, could this be some type of flashback to a past generation of Klingons, even before uh, the original series? Um, maybe a flashback of Klingons before they had any uh, engagement with a human species. Have no idea, guys, but please feel free to post your comments. Let me know what you th uh, what you all think. Um, I very much appreciate it because I miss, I, I, when I'm looking around, I miss things. I miss things about uh, what's going on with the show Star Trek Discovery, and I very much appreciate uh, hearing you guys, uh, you know, opinions and information you found and things that uh, can clarify some of the things for me as I'm just like you all and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.